Hey, my name's Corey, and I'm an applications engineer here for Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at importing different 3D file formats and using direct editing to modify these parts inside SolidWorks. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and open my non-native file type, which is IGS. And what you're going to see is there's been a uh, bracket designed. And the first thing SolidWorks asks me when I open up this bracket is, do I want to run import diagnostics on this part? So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And all import diagnostics is doing is it's looking for gaps and problems in this 3D geometry. And it's going to allow me to have SolidWorks um, attempt to heal these, which it's very good about doing. Um, notice how now that it's healed, it gives me the message, no faulty faces or gaps remain in the geometry. I'm free and clear to proceed. So the next thing it's going to ask me is, do I want to proceed with feature recognition? And so I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And if I use feature works in order to look for all the different types of features, it's going to do a really good job of finding all the different extrudes that could be used to make this part and the different hole wizard features and fillets. And this has gone ahead and it's created my part with these native SOLIDWORKS features which are going to be fully editable and I can edit this just like any other SOLIDWORKS parts. So it's essentially just gone and converted this old file into SOLIDWORKS for me. But I want to work with the dumb solid instead. And the reason I'm calling this a dumb solid is because if you look at this, it has no features. All it is is one block that's imported one is how it's recognized. And maybe I want to go ahead and recycle this and still go ahead and go back and use this, but without redrawing the whole thing. So I want to show you guys a quick couple of tips and ways where you can still modify this without having to remake this entire part. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to do a split. And what split allows me to do is it allows me to use a cutting plane and then select the body that I want to go ahead and cut using that plane. And then I have to select which bodies I want to keep over here. So when I do that split, you can't see much until I turn on my edges and now notice there is this split line down the center of my part. And also to confirm over here in my feature manager design tree, a solid bodies folder has appeared. And inside that solid bodies folder are now my two separate solid bodies. So why would I want to do this? Well, maybe I want to extend the length of my bracket. And so now the next thing, once I've split into two solids down the center, is I need to move one of the solids. And I can just go ahead and drag the solid out. So now that I've dragged the solid out, I need some way to bridge this gap. And I don't want to have to really do any more sketching since I already have my part geometry here. So if I open a sketch on the, that face, I can just go ahead and convert the entities. And what this is going to allow me to do is quickly and easily just make an extrusion to go ahead and link these two bodies. Now, what I need to do is at the moment I have two separate solid bodies. By doing this merge results checkbox, it's going to make this all one single solid body. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And now notice my solid bodies folder has disappeared. So the next thing I want to do to my bracket is maybe I would need this to be upside down and on this side over here of my bracket underneath. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make a plane that I can use for my cutting tool. So I'm going to make a plane coincident to that top face. And then I'm just going to use the split tool again. So using that plane in order to split this body. This time notice there's three different bodies and I need to save all three. And now my solid bodies folder has reappeared with the three different solid bodies in my model. So I no longer need that plane at the moment, so I'm just going to hide it to get it out of the way. And now what I need to do is I need to take this solid body right here, and I need to flip it upside down and then move it to the other side. So I can use that move or copy bodies, and I can take and rotate that around my x-axis 180 degrees. So now notice it is flipped. Whereas the hole was up here, now it's down here to verify that it's flipped. The next thing I might want to do with this is I need to go ahead and move it down. 
so I need to translate it um, negative 40 millimeters in the y direction so by doing that now notice I have this bracket exactly how I need it however it's still three solid bodies so the last tool I'm going to use is the combined bodies tool and by using the operation type of adding all I have to do is select the bodies I want to add can show a preview and accept that and now the solid bodies folder has disappeared because I have one complete solid body part so in today's video we covered basic direct editing of a part using features like combine split and move and copy bodies thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge systems